There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, loves? It's your girl. So this video is going to be some curly hair. And if you don't see, I am rocking some bright colors. I know it's the fall, but you know what? It's always sunny out here in Arizona. So, And I love bright t-shirts. You guys know I love t-shirts, all kind of t-shirts. And I had to get this one, um, five bucks at Wally World's, you know, Walmart. My Little Pony, the last one. So you know what's meant for me. Let's get on to this hair tutorial. This wig that I'm going to be showing you guys today is by Wig Encounters. I actually did a wig video for them like some months ago and it was also like some curly type of like hair. Though I think I curled the most of it. But it was jet black which was not a first for me but some like a semi first because I don't really do jet black hair. Like I don't know I think like 1B sometimes starts to trickle off as like a jet black to me. It all depends on the you know the hair, the it just all depends. Yeah. Wig Encounters, it comes in this little black box, you know what I'm saying? Nothing really like too fancy. Um, it do, you do have like your plastic inside. Um, there's a brush. There is a brush inside. It's a plastic paddle brush, you know. It also comes with these fishnet wig caps, which I like the most because your hair can actually breathe a million times better. So the hair that I'm about to show you guys is an Indian Remy hair and it's 16 inches and it is a glueless full lace wig. And the front is 130% density and the back is 150. So there is baby hairs around the perimeter and it's actually a pre-plucked hairline, which is great. And it is Swiss lace material, soft, it says, yet durable a curly unit and I always tell you guys before you even wear any curly hair like I know a lot of people when they get their wigs they just gotta take them out the box and put them on that's great you know what I'm saying if that's what you want to do that's cool sometimes I do that too depending on the hair texture but if it's curly I definitely don't do that because the hair texture changes in a whole it looks totally different so when I first got it it was like these really tight curls factory type of curls and when you wash it it turns out to be something much prettier like I mean it may not look too bad when you first get it but the curls are really really stiff so I would highly suggest washing it I always put it on like my mannequin heads and then I you know I just co-wash it and I leave them to air dry on that mannequin head overnight so like I said it is a glueless full lace wig and it has three combs in the front right here by the perimeter and it also has a comb and an adjustable strap in the nape and then there is a middle stretch right here but the cool thing about a full lace wig you can actually part this unit wherever you want and it'll just look like scalp, okay? So that's the one thing that I like about full lace wigs. If I had to choose between glueless full lace, lace front, or 360, um, well, I would probably choose like a glueless full lace because if I wanted to do like a part somewhere else, then I'd definitely do that. I'm not like a huge fan of like the 360s because they kind of remind me of, you know, like a lace front with just lace on the side. And I don't really put my hair up in a high bun or ponytail like that too often. So I would definitely just go with the um, full lace wigs. The only thing about this one is I did not sew any elastic in it, but that's okay. Um, they did not provide any and that's okay as well well because you can always go to Walmart and pick that up they're really really cheap it's like under buck so it does have baby hairs on the perimeter and it still has the lace to it so also like I tell you guys all the time make sure you get some scissors some small scissors is always best that way you can remove the lace off of your wig so that's what I'm gonna do right now and in case you guys are wondering why do I have this like this well I actually washed it and dried it like this because I wanted to just try like putting two braids right here in the middle try to give it like a different look so we're gonna go for that today we're gonna see how that rock out so let's begin you guys all right you guys let's get into this the first thing that I'm going to use here is my Mac fix plus or fix fluid or something like that fresh powder and I'm just going to use that with the brush on the inside of the cap because I didn't bleach the knots and I really don't want to do all that bleaching of the knots so I'll just take the easy route out and just take me some pressed powder and pretend like it's scalp plus I also put on a great wig cap and my wig grip band you want to make sure to put your wig grip band if you have one kind of further to the back because if you don't it's going to make your wig kind of like lump up it won't lay as flat in the front so 
that's just one of the tricks of the trick of the trade now I'm gonna take this baby wipe and wipe off that makeup that I already had on my face because I'm gonna take one of my favorite hair gels which is the gorilla snot gel and I'm going to use that just to kind of like adhere my lace unit I don't like to use the got to be because it just flakes up and trust and believe I have both black and yellow and they both flake up and leave you with that white residue so I prefer not the gorilla snot gel works just as well it is very strong and like I said it in many videos it's one of my favorites it does not um, flake up I also use the gorilla snot gel and the red and blue bottle they kind of have the same strength if you ask me so I went ahead and let the gel get a little tacky before I started pressing down on this unit and I'm just going to use the back of a rat tail comb just to leave my fingers out of this um, because sometimes when you put your fingers all over it the wig slides around or it gets sticky or your fingers get sticky and then it sticks to the wig and it's like all of this oh, just like this huge big task so I'm loving the baby hairs that's on this unit. They're really nice, but you know what? They're a little bit long for your girl. Like, I don't really like all those baby hairs. So I'm just gonna cut off a little bit. As you guys see, I am using a small pair of curved scissors. I've had these scissors for about eight years. You can definitely pick them up from Walmart, one of my favorite stores in the whole wide world. Now I wanna take some of that Gorilla Snot Gel, and I should've used my mousse, but honestly, I really didn't want to, being that it was from the Dollar Tree, and I've already had issues with that mousse, so I'm just gonna use this gel and kind of like play with the hairs and kind of like curve them into the wig as well as onto my scalp or to my face or to my head. I just want the wig to lay as flat as possible, but I also want it to look as natural as possible. So yeah, you guys, the wig fits nice. It is a kind of more or less like a natural look. Um, you have to really play with the wigs and customize them and make them yours. That's what everybody, everybody has their own techniques. Everybody has their own way of doing things. I know back in the day when um, Full Lace Wigs first came out, they were just full lace. You couldn't, there weren't any elastic in them. We used to do all kind of things. Um, back then in the days, I do have like this older video on my channel where I did the stocking cap thing and I used actual Mastic P glue adhere and all that good stuff and it really does work so I'm thinking maybe I'll give that a try again and just go back to my old roots from back in the gap so now it's time to corn roll this little puppy on up I just want to show you guys the options of wearing a full lace wig now for one I don't really think that I would wear my own natural hair like this um, maybe or maybe not it would have to probably be styled different ways but you know I'm really not a corn roll type of girl but like I said, it's a full lace wig. You can do many different things to it. You can part it anywhere. You can braid it anywhere. There are so many options to wearing a full lace wig that, listen girls, it's endless, you know? And the best thing about it are, um, is, is that they're glueless. So now you really don't have to do too much like we used to do back in the day. You have the options of combs. You can sew an elastic band in it. You know what I mean? All that good stuff. But the most important part to any wig is just customizing it to your liking, making yourself feel comfortable in it, and you know, rocking that, just rock it out. So like I was saying, the hair is super soft. It's 16 inches and it really looks longer than that. But I like the density of it. As you guys can see, it looks really natural once I braided it up and, you know, give myself like that curly bohemian type look here. But I think it's really acceptable and very, very natural looking as well. Alright you guys, so this video was basically to show you where you can or what you can do with a full lace wig. So like I was saying you guys, you can part it anywhere you want. You can put some cornrows in it, some twists, some ponytails, some buns, whatever you want to do. You can do a lot with a glueless full lace wig. That's my like number one preference. And then it would just be like a lace front because sometimes I don't really do all that stuff to it. Um, I will say that some of the knots in this do need to be like constructed a little bit better because some of them were a little close um, but for the most part the hair is like really soft and I'm pretty sure like if it was just do one curls in it it would just get like really curly and just like more or less like a very full kind of like texture and that was what I was going to do initially until I said well you know something I'm just going to try to put some braids in it and see how it will look and it actually looks really well the hairline is really decent looking as you guys can see. I did play around with some of the baby hairs in it and just like 
gel some of them down. I'm always wanting to say glue, but it's actually really gel. And I think like really before you even start, make sure that your hairline is clean. So that's the reason why I wipe some of my makeup off so that way the gel doesn't get mixed with the, um, the makeup foundation and just becomes like a really nasty residue mess. Um, so I definitely make, sh uh, make sure that my hairline, like some of my forehead is clean. Because you can always go back and just touch your makeup up, no big deal. But wig counters, they have like, like a nice selection of wigs. They're more on the affordable side if you're on a budget and you're looking for something that's like cute, friendly, budget friendly, you know what I'm saying? Very acceptable hair. Like I said, this is the second time that I've ever did a review for them. But for the most part, the um, first one was a lace front. It was jet black. And I think like this one was a lot better than the first one because of the improvements with their hairline, which is great because I always like feel like, you know something? Improve, honeys, improves. But the one thing that I do suggest, like with any wig company, we really don't need those middle combs right here because it just makes it so hard to put the wig on so I always end up removing them but so I would just suggest like you know sometimes just put in two right here one on each side and maybe like one on each side of the nape in the back that way you have the four but without the middle one right here that's just my suggestion and also just to improve on the knots a little bit but for the most part the pre tweeze hairline was really great or the pre plucked hairline was really great it is more or less like very non noticeable if that's the look that you're going for the hair length like i said is 16 inches the hair is very soft so you can definitely flat iron it or change the curl pattern if you want to but for 130 percent density in the front and 150 in the back i think this is pretty decent like I said it's a flueless full lace wig you can just do whatever you want with it and I'm gonna just take these out real quick we're gonna see how it looks without the braids like you know like the norm like this hair it's very soft and you know what I like about it you know when you have curly hair sometimes when you finger comb it too much it just gets kind of like really too wild and over manageable and it looks starts looking dry this doesn't look like that it just gets really big and it still looks really pretty so I definitely would suggest checking this one out um, and as I stated there are more on the affordable side so yes you guys check out wig encounters I post everything down below for you girls and as always make sure you rate comment and subscribe and thumbs this video up because you love me me so much and on that note yes I'm loving this little my little pony shirt from Walmart if you guys love Walmart hashtag Walmart down below and I will see you in a soon to come video